All right, so this is going to be an unboxing of the $19 printer that Walmart had on sale for Black Friday. It's a Canon printer, um, which I'm really used to HPs, so I don't know how this is going to be. But anyway, the thing that drew it to me is the fact that my printer is old. Um, it's about nine years old. It works perfectly, but I would like a wireless printer just because I print labels from eBay and Poshmark sometime, and I'd like to be able to do that for my phone. So that's the main purpose in buying the printer. Previously in the past, one of the things I strongly considered about a printer was the cost of the ink cartridges, but nowadays that's not a big deal just because I take my cartridges to a toner place where they just refill them for like 10 or $15. So that's not a big deal to me. Um, I know back in the day I used to be able to get Lexmark printers for like two cents, but then <laughs> once the ink ran out, the cartridges were like $40, whereas other printers had $25 cartridges, so that's not a big deal anymore. So let's go ahead and get to it. Um, I think these were all in white, so you didn't really have a choice, but to me that's a neutral color, not a big deal. Uh, my computer's not white, but you know, the color of the printer, it's not like you're buying a pair of shoes or something. So anyway, the box seems pretty stout. Um, first, but um, you have your power cable here, or part of it. You have the power cable that goes into the back of the printer. You got your black ink cartridge right here, and you got your coloring cartridge. So that's cool. I mean, the fact that I actually picked up, I was in Walmart earlier, but they were free left over, so it's too late now. But if we're looking at that, and you're like, oh, this is on. We're on Walmart soon. So the printer. It's not the smallest printer in the world. And here's another info packet here. We'll open that, but. I'll give you a close-up of the printer, but it comes with a registration thing, a driver cable, which I don't know why this is still included. My little 13-inch laptop and, and most notebooks now do not have optical drives, so that's kind of pointless, but uh, I'll download a driver on the website and keep it moving. Right, so here is the printer. Um, like I said, it's white, white. You know, it doesn't have a color display, but... You got the tray right here. I mean, it's it's a basic printer. They all kind of look alike to me. We'll take a little walk around. There, it doesn't have a fax function, but yeah, you know, good basic little printer. And I'll show you how it works, ladies and gentlemen. Um, so I just wanted to do a side by side of the old printer, which is this HP that I have. Please uh, disregard the paperwork on the floor as I'm doing a lot of cleaning and shredding currently. But as you can see, this is an HP. It's a relatively compact um, printer. And this one, this Canon, is actually a little bit uh, wider and longer. And uh, you know, this one is kind of yellowed over the years. I don't know why this top yellowed. It just did this about a year ago. I've had this printer for about 10 years. It works very well, has worked very well, and replaced the old slowest Epson ever that I had in college. Um, but anyway, this Canon is very nice. And uh, one of the things that I will point out is that it did not come with a USB cable, which is fine. It's a wireless printer. We need to embrace being more wireless. But you have two different philosophies here. So... This printer, if you look, is a bit longer. Um, this one is a bit longer. And the reason, part of the reason for that is the power cable. So with this printer, it uses the old uh, DC converter or whatever, the box you have right here. And then this one just has the regular cable that goes in the back of the printer and the converter is within the body of the printer. So I think that's the reason why this one is a bit larger. And it's also wireless, so it has to have some kind of um, Wi-Fi modem in it, which is probably a small chip, so it doesn't really justify why it's so big, um, as it is a decade later. This printer I actually got for $20 at Walmart back in the day. It wasn't a Black Friday special, but I just happened to be going through Walmart, and I saw it for, I think it was $20 or $30, and I got it, and it's worked well from day one. No hiccups. Um, so we'll see how this one works. I'm not going to do like a working review. I'm sure it'll print just fine. I don't do a lot of printing and um, you know if it prints as fast as this one that's fine which isn't super fast but 
Anyway, that's not a concern of mine. I'm not a graphic designer or anything like that. I'm just a guy who occasionally prints out stuff for insurance in the car, eBay labels, that kind of thing. So anyway, this is the Canon Pixma TS3122. So.